okay get action name right so see here get action name writes or gets the action name which action the last clicked ua action right so very carefully see here this is very little a kind of a virtual topic okay we even though we see a sample we see an example now but it won't work every time so i will tell you why okay when you have a form so let's say we are on which table uh, this table okay and here we are right so open rng right what can be what is the last action that okay so let me put it in a different way if you click any action here okay so the record will okay if i click any action here okay the session will end or the record will be updated is that correct or not if i save it yes if i escalate as incident yes okay if i update yes maybe delete no okay insert yes insert and stay yes so if you take anything here any click here automatically the current record will save correct means the session will end am i right yes or no is it yes yes, yes. okay so a ua action automatically almost all ua actions will automatically okay save the current record or ends the session correct now if i say let's say okay i click the button here okay the, it is saved and then form loaded okay now if i query okay alert of get action name so see here i will save it i saved it okay now if i say alert of get action name what it will give we will try to see this one okay try to understand it okay we are, i am trying to keep the limitation of this one how to use it okay we can't use this one for every time so what it is what it will give none why is because you don't have it in mind and right now this console is working for this session only and in this session okay nothing is recorded as a action this is where the problem sir then you use the you use this one na sir what is that save you click it na sir save is last session one that is the miss here okay so maximum get action name will be created on on submit client script so what i will do is very carefully see i'll create one simple on submit client script here mm, yes right now keep one thing okay anything just just put one message that's it no need to do anything but it should be on submit okay because last action right now just put the same message here save it okay now onwards okay if you click any action on this table okay you will see the action name okay so very carefully see i am saving it what is the ua action name here this is the ua action name the save okay the back end ua action name is this one okay good now you you have one thing na okay escalate as an incident or something i click this one so this is a ua action so that time it given name this time it given a cid why sir okay. because we don't given the name okay so in the ua action page there is something called okay name right so very carefully see here right 
so there is okay so see here this save any save is fine okay so more or less okay so maybe i picked one save this kind of save so it have a you action name in the page you have an action name something like this if you have the action name like this then it writes the action name if the action name is empty then it writes the sysid of the u action so where is our sysid incident correct are you understanding my everyone yes everyone understanding it what get action name writes for us yes hmm. now see here let's get our thing okay so this one doesn't have a action name that's why it is giving this is id now you remember this is the same this id okay let me it's all deactivated right cheat it okay save it again okay good hmm. now see here okay escalate as an incident this is giving this is id why is because the action name is empty very good okay now again i will reproduce it okay so i'll just remove it so every time when i'm clicking a new something then it is giving the okay i will just give is esc okay escfx button i will just give some name like this okay now what it will write we will see whether it will writes the ui action back end name or the sysid okay so now you see right hmm. what it written you are understanding it my everyone yes hmm. so get action name is a simple thing it writes the thing okay ui action name or ui action she said now the question is okay when it will be used okay it will be we don't be getting this kind of scenarios okay generally but let's say we have two ui actions maybe ui action 1 ui action new button 1 button 2 okay if the user clicks this button then you may need to give one message if user clicks the other button then you may need to give different but different messages okay so those kind of things if you want to take control then you can use get action name understanding it my everyone yes you don't use it okay i'm just trying to put one simple message okay simple example but generally we don't use it okay so everyone clear get action name clear not clear clear right